two, one, go. We're rolling for our final lower bracket round and indeed our final pre-finals match. Say that 10 times fast here of the playoffs. This is match 13 and it's a do or die. Winner moves to the finals to play against Alliance 8. And the losing Alliance packs it up and goes home. We've got one robot perched on either charge station and a bunch of motion. However, the Red Alliance taking the... Well, no, actually, Blue Alliance taking the lead coming out of that one. Actually, I think that one came off of a foul. But regardless, 41 to 33, your live score coming out of the autonomous period. Three pieces, or three game pieces scored, all of them cubes, up there on the top row of that Red Alliance wall, looking at the Blue Alliance wall. We have three cones and a cube working now on two more cones coming in from Jack and the Bot and Chuck. Both of them dropped them off and in very quick succession, they dance their way across the field. Now there's a cube right in front of our head referees. Chuck scoops it up, brings it into the Blue Alliance scoring zone. They turn around and they'd like to complete the second link here for the Blue Alliance. That one's successful, that link is good and it's five points for the cube and then five more points for the link both there in that Blue Alliance scoring zone. Looking at our Red Alliance machines here, we've got 54, 68, trying to recoup that cube that's sitting in front of them. Cube goes forward. They'd like to place it in the left zone for scoring, and it's in the middle rung there, so a total of three points out of the Alliance score, and they'll run their way back to the loading zone. Human player not quite ready for the cone or the cube there yet, but they are able to finally scoop that one up Human player feeds it in, and they'll actually pre-feed another one, it looks like, or at least he's staging there as if he would like to. Two Blue Alliance machines racing in tandem down the field. Jack to the right, Chuck to the left. On they go. Cone placed on the middle row. It looks like on both of those. We've got four links made. That's 20 points in just links there so far for the Blue Alliance. With 30 seconds left to play, they lead by quite a bit. Although we are having intermittent issues here with one of these Red Alliance machines. Looks like they are going to be able to get up onto the charging station, although they're really top heavy right now. And down they go. They're not able to get that arm retracted and they're actually holding, it looks like, that charge station down. Both Alliance members fall off as well. Five seconds left, Chuck and Jack parked for blue up on that charge station. And it looks like, I'm not sure actually what it looks like. Hey, look at that. Last minute potential salvage by the Red Alliance. It's important to note. We gotta make sure that that K9 Crusaders machine is not in contact with that charge station, but we'll let the referees sort that one out and get a final score to you shortly and learn who will go on to the finals. After a contentious playoff bracket, we're about to learn who will be going on to play against Alliance 8 in our finals. With your official scores certified and ready after referee review, it's the Blue Alliance. 158 points to the Red Alliance's 74, and Alliance 1 will go on to duke it out. We'll